Brian Cody in the dressing room after the match here. What's your reaction? Oh, well, I mean, obviously we were out hurled, you know, in the first half. I mean, they, they completely dominated the whole first half of the game, giving themselves a serious cushion by half time. Um, we didn't have any answer to them really in the first half. Second half, I would have to say that you know the response from our players was very, very genuine, very, very honest. You know, we 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 fought back, we we took them on every single way we possibly could, and we were very, very genuine. I felt the whole way through, got you know, got two good goals, and fought to the bitter end. But you know, the mountain we had to climb was was too steep, and even when we get the scores, they'd come back and and, and get a point, get a point here, get a point there. But um, you know, it wasn't a question of where we anticipated and where we expected. We were expecting a huge battle. We spoke about it. That's 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 the reality of sport. Um, you know, we didn't things that would normally work out well didn't work out well. But we've no excuses whatsoever. Better team on the day. Certainly won the game. And uh, you know, Galway had that big lead at half time, and you went about taking it down. But you never got any closer than eight points to put. You never got to put the real pressure on them. Correct, I agree with that, yeah. And at the same time, eight points not a huge lead in hurling because I just felt that when it was eight points, we were a few times thinking it was eight points and, you know, a couple of half chances. If we could get a goal down to five points, and that's nothing. That's nothing at that stage. And the momentum is there then. And there was scramble, ball scramble around the square, and that didn't happen. Didn't We didn't get that opportunity. We did get the opportunity, maybe a half chance, but we didn't put it away anyway. And, you know, therefore, we, we never really broke that eight-point barrier. You know, I, I, the little worry I had, say, coming into this game was for the fortnight after the Dublin game, and the Dublin game was a huge effort. Yeah, we spoke about that as well. The, the most difficult game you'll play is after a very, very good display, I suppose, and there was a huge anticipation before the Dublin game about the challenge coming, and we prepared for it, but we prepared for this in the very, very same way. There's not, not a question or doubt about that. The players' minds, the players' attitudes were spot on. But, you know, that's sport, that's the reality of sport. But look at we're definitely not going to be Leinster champions this year. That's over in Galway now, but we're not out of the All Ireland Championship, and there will be a huge determination and a huge um, drive uh, for for from all of the players to try and, you know, get a quarter final, uh, which we're going to be in now, and take it from there, and hopefully just drive on. You're going like you the the players have to go back to the well again. Yeah, that's the game. That's the game. It goes on every year, obviously, you know, and no matter how often you kind of, you know, you try to sample this thing, you want more of it. And But the players', the players um, willingness to go back to the wheel has never been in question, and it's certainly not in question now either. And the challenge is there for the management team as well, you know, maybe to, is it to do something different or do the same better or whatever? Whatever is right, yeah. I mean, the challenge is there. The challenge that was put in front of us today, we weren't um, able to deal with, obviously. And, and, you know, the challenge, whenever we talk about the challenge, we always talk about the challenge for, for, for players and for management and everybody else. You know, it's never a question of um, players' responsibility or management responsibility. It's everybody's responsibility. And there's a huge, huge responsibility on management to, to try and get things ready for the next day. Today reminded me a little bit of uh, 76. 76 a while ago. <laughs> I was around that day too, unfortunately, you know. And um, yeah, I suppose there were similarities also. But I mean, you know, we've also suffered in, I suppose, a couple of years of defeats from Galway as well. And, you know, I mean, people, a lot of people are surprised, I suppose, disappointed. But it's, it's, it's a stark reminder of the realities of sport. That's for sure. It's a massive kick forward for Galway and uh, maybe people will say that, you know, the championship all of a sudden is burst open. Well, you see, I mean, the people who thought it, weren't, it wasn't open are, are sort of just, you know, just saying things like, you know, about the fact that it's just it's going to happen this way or that way. The championship has always been open because every day you go out there, you're, 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 the, the possibility of, of winning is there, the possibility of, of not winning is there. We've always approached it in that frame of mind and... Today, uh, the possibility of, of, of losing became a reality for us. And, and, but like I said, you know, the opportunity to go further in the championship still exists. You know, we, if we had been successful today, you know, there was a semi-final waiting and, 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 uh, and winning that gets you to a final. Now we have a quarter-final to play and if you, get, if you can get over that, we're in a semi-final. So it's a longer route, but it's a route we're going to attack. Is it a case, how do you freshen the thing up now? Is the case of just getting over these injuries, uh, is that part of it? Well, obviously you'd like to have everybody available, but I mean, there's, not a qu- there's no question whatsoever of, the f- of us going to be talking about having the fact that we were short this or short that or we had injuries. It's nothing to do with it, really. On the day, we, we had a team out in the field and there's no excuse whatsoever with regard to anybody and, or, or anything and we're not even going to even consider speaking about those things. 
But um, the challenge for ourselves is to prepare as well as we possibly can. I mean, Tom, we're doing things differently, yeah, whatever it is. You know, it's it's still hurling you're playing, the game of hurling, you know, and um, we will prepare as well as we possibly can. And who knows, who knows where this thing is going to go. But certainly our, our intent and our determination to um, face the quarterfinal and get over that quarterfinal will be serious. You wouldn't be worried that this is a fatal blow? Sure, look, I mean, if you're, if, uh, I would never, I, I would never, ever, ever be, be thinking along those terms at all, you know, I never have, never will. I would be always savagely optimistic about, about the potential for this team and for this group of players, as I always have been. And, you know, they've served themselves well and they've served, served the county well. And uh, I wouldn't even consider talking about those lads in, in, in any tense, but in the present and future. This is a reminder of what's needed. It was a reminder of the reality of sport. You know, anybody expects you to go out and just win matches, for, just turn up and win, is off the wall, you know, and we never ever had that frame of mind.